Hi, I'm Jay Cosgathorpe, and I'm going to take a quick look back at the weekend's action using expected goals to assess the fairness of the results and cover all the main talking points. First up, I'm going to concentrate on the Premier League. Now, Manchester United beat Southampton 3-2 thanks to a late Romelu Lukaku goal. But a lot of the pundits were saying that Southampton were unlucky, whereas a matter of fact, they were very fortunate not to lose by a bigger margin. They created just 0.48 expected goals, so they were very fortunate to score twice. And if they perform like this from now to the end of the season, they won't win many matches, with the Infogol model calculating that they have an 80% chance of losing the game. Next up, the big game on Sunday was Everton versus Liverpool in the Merseyside derby. It was another goalless draw for Liverpool, but it was one in which they were slightly unfortunate not to come away with three points, with the best chance of the match falling to Mohamed Salah, who had a 54% chance of scoring past Jordan Pickford, but was denied. Everton got a lot of plaudits from many people for the way they played during the game, but they offered very little going forward, and Liverpool now find themselves behind Manchester City in the title race. Manchester City beat Bournemouth 1-0 at the weekend to move above Liverpool. It was an extraordinary game in which Bournemouth had zero shots in front of their own fans, which means they registered zero expected goals. A deserved win for City then, and they are now in pole position to win the Premier League title, with Infogol model giving them a 66% chance of doing so. The North London derby took place on Saturday, and it was a dramatic affair, with penalties at both ends and a couple of very tasty tackles. Tottenham were very fortunate to come away with a point though, according to expected goals, as Arsenal had their number and created the better of the chances. Finally in the Premier League, Brendan Rodgers' first game in charge of Leicester didn't go to plan at Watford. Andre Gray's late goal gave the hosts a much-deserved win according to expected goals. It was much of a surprise to see Leicester set up with a three at the back. It seemed as though their attacking process took a hit because of this. It'd be interesting to see what Rodgers does moving forward. Moving down to the Championship then, and there was two big games at the bottom of the table, as Ipswich played Reading and Rotherham hosted Blackburn. Now both Reading and Rotherham won their games, although they were very, very fortunate to do so according to expected goals, with both deserving to lose, having been the second best teams in both games. Ipswich now look doomed at the bottom of the table, while Rotherham and Reading have given themselves a glimmer of hope in staying up. Two more interesting results in the Championship at the weekend came from Ellen Road and Villa Park. Both teams, both home teams won 4-0. Leeds were very impressive against West Brom on the Friday. But I want to talk more about Aston Villa's 4-0 win over Derby. The game was over in the first half. Aston Villa completely blew Derby away. And the second half was more of a parade than anything. And Derby were extremely poor throughout the 90 minutes, generating just 0.14 expected goals, which is an extremely poor total. This is something we've been accustomed to seeing from Frank Lampard's side. They've been very poor in attack, shooting from long distances with low probability chances of being scored. They need to improve their process and create much bigger chances if they are to finish in the playoff places this season. Finally, we're going to take a look across European action. Let's start with the big game of the weekend, which was El Clasico. Now, Barcelona won for the second time in a week at the Bernabeu, thanks to Ivan Rakitic's goal. A 1-0 win that moved them comfortably clear of their El Clasico rivals. The expected goal totals look fairly close on paper, with Real Madrid racking up 1.07 to Barcelona's 1.11. But a closer examination of the actual chances suggests that it wasn't the case at all. Real Madrid's best chance of the match had a 15% chance of being scored, whereas Barcelona generated two really good chances, 31% and 41%. All in all, Barcelona deservedly got the win, with Real Madrid's expected goal total an accumulation of much smaller chances. Madrid will have to improve if they are to do anything with this season, with their only hope being the Champions League success yet again. Over in Italy, Napoli took on Juventus in a battle of the top two, and it was Juventus that came out on top with a 2-1 win, although that doesn't begin to tell the story of the match. Juventus scored twice from chances equating to just 0.53 expected goals. The second time in two weeks that this has happened and they've been very fortunate to get the win on both occasions. Lorenzo Insigne missed a penalty for Napoli which would have made it 2-2. But even without the penalty, Napoli were the better team on the night and deserved to win the game. Somehow Juventus managed to hold on and get the 2-1 win. Although it 
looks like they're set for another Serie A title. Finally, over in Germany where the Bundesliga title took yet another twist as Dortmund were beaten on Friday by Augsburg and Bayern Munich demolished Borussia Mönchengladbach 5-1 away from home on the Saturday. Though Dortmund did lose, according to expected goals they were much the better side and can rue plenty of missed chances in the game against Augsburg and it was a complete contrast for Bayern Munich who racked up an incredible 5.31 expected goals at Mönchengladbach and took pretty much most of them, winning 5-1 in comfortable fashion and laying down a real marker to their rivals in this title race. They look set now to complete another Bundesliga success. Though Dortmund, if they continue playing like that, will win more games than they will lose. So that's all of the big games covered from last weekend. Stay tuned for all of the Champions League previews coming up in the next couple of days and the Europa League previews. For more information, visit theinfogoal.net or download the free Infogoal app for all in-play shop maps and pre-match predictions.